Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video. And hopefully today I'm going to be able to help you figure out which DLC operators you should get first. I've done two other videos like this before, but it's been a very long time and many new operators have been added to the game since then. And a lot of you ask me which DLC operator that you should get first, needing a little bit help in how to spend your renown. So if you're having some trouble and maybe you're a few operators away from having all of them, you can refer to this list to figure out which one you should go for next. I will mention that this video is just kind of opinion based. I put them in order from which ones I think you should get first to last. And there are 16 operators, so I'll try to move quickly so we can get through them all. I'll go over each one with a brief reason why I think you should get them at that point. I also do want to mention that I put them in order based on their ease of use as well as kind of their impact on game. So this isn't really in the perspective of a really good player. This is just somebody who might be average. So some of the operators that have a high learning curve might not be so high on the list. But with all of that out of the way, let's get right into the list. And as of recording this video, the first DLC operator that you should get would have to be Ella. Honestly, she's just been broken since the game came out, even with her minor nerfs to her gadget as well as her her scorpion bringing her magazine size down to 40. She's still pretty much unstoppable. They did mention that they will be nerfing her some more in the future, but as the way she sits right now, she is easily the first DLC operator you should go for. Next up on the list, the second operator you should think about going for would have to be Habana. She is a very straightforward operator. If you've played Thermite before, you're gonna know how to use Habana. And at the same time, she is a three speed operator, as well as she has some of the best weaponry in the game, including her primary and secondary weapons. The third operator on today's list is another one that's kind of broken, and that is Blackbeard. He is perfect, especially for a less experienced player. I know a lot of people complain about him, but he can help you win gunfights and pretty much give you three lives, as well if you have somewhat semi-decent aim you should be able to win pretty much any one-on-one -on -one gunfight with him. The fourth operator on today's list has somewhat of a learning curve, but it is very important in terms of impact on the game, and that is Mira. Depending on the objective site, she can pretty much single-handedly win a round for your team. The fifth operator that I think you should go for would have to be Legion. Although he did not make it on my top underrated operators list, he is definitely a underrated operator nonetheless. To me, he's just a very solid overall operator. He has a good set of weapons, he's a 2 armor, 2 speed, and he's very easy to play. All you have to do is wait for those goo mines and place them in very common doorways and it acts just like barbed wire. They create a whole lot of noise, notifying you exactly where the enemy is. But moving along, and as for the 6th and 7th spot, they're kind of interchangeable. I could go either way with it, but the 6th spot would be Jackal. And again, this is because of ease of use. His gadget's very straightforward. You just kind of turn it on, scan some footsteps, and you know exactly where the enemies are. And then he has a great set of weapons that are very easy to use and have a very fast time to kill. He is great for dealing with those pesky roamers. And his smoke grenades can go a very long way with helping in game modes like Bomb. Also, the secondary shotgun can be used to allow for amazing vertical gameplay. And then as for the seventh operator that you should go for, which could be pretty much interchangeable with Jackal, would be Buck. He is almost like a Sledge 2.0. Obviously, they have their different purposes, but Buck is a very useful operator, especially for that vertical gameplay that is very important. The only kind of issue with him would be for less experienced players and not being able to control the recoil of his C8. And then if you're not very good with DMRs, he might be a little bit difficult to use, but it would just take some time and practice getting down the recoil pattern. Eighth operator that you might want to consider could be Frost. Frost is one of those operators who is pretty simple. It does take a little bit of a learn curve as to where you're going to place those bear traps. But as I've said before when talking about Frost, it's actually amazing how she still even gets high level players. You can put her Frost Traps in very simple spots just like a windowsill. And when those rounds are coming to an end and the attacking team is pressured to push in, they always seem to forget about the Frost Traps. Then allowing you to get a free and easy kill. Her weapons aren't quite the best, the submachine gun does have a slow fire rate. But it does get the job done as well as the Super 90 is pretty good at close range. I think she's just a really good middle of the line operator. As for the ninth operator that you might want to look into getting would have to be Valkyrie. I would put her a bit higher on the list but she does again have kind of a learning curve. She's not going to be very useful for yourself or your team if you do not have good Valkam so 
you're going to want to really practice some of the maps and learn really good Valk camp spots, whether they're on the objective or just outside to allow you to run out on the enemies. Just something a little more basic than all three Valk camps sitting in different corners of the objective. But if you can get some semi-decent Valk camps, she is a very solid operator, 2 armor, 2 speed. The MPX is a pretty good weapon. I will say it is somewhat of a pea shooter at range if you're hitting those body shots. But since information is so powerful in this game, that is what makes Valkyrie so damn good. As for the 10th operator that you should take a look at would be Zofia. She is a combination of an Ash, Ella, and then a Capitao. She is one of those operators that is very straightforward to use as well as she has a great set of weapons. She does kind of force you to think about how you want to use her gadget though, where you want to use those two impacts as well as when you're going to use those concussion charges and she can also leave you somewhat vulnerable because you're going to be switching between her gadget as well as switching between what parts of her gadget you're going to use and you will be kind of a sitting duck since you don't really have a primary weapon out which can lead you to getting killed if you're not being very aware of what's going on around you the switch between her gadget and primary is a little bit slow but as long as you're pretty aware of what you're doing and how you're going to use her gadget she is very easy to use as for the 11th operator, I would say that you might want to look into getting Capitao. He is going to take a little bit of thought as to how you're going to use the gadget similar to Zofia. But with the recent buff, his para 308 is absolutely amazing. He got a pretty good increase to the damage and it drops the enemies very quickly. And because his arrows do not get intercepted by Jaeger's ADS, he is very useful on many different objective sites. Whether you're just trying to get rid of somebody who's anchoring a corner with the asphyxiating bolts or you want to use the smokes to help your teammates push in, he has a lot of versatility which is one of the reasons why I like him. But moving along to the 12th operator, I would have to go with Dokubi. Her purpose is pretty similar to Jackal for helping get rid of those roamers, but she is also very good for the last second push. If you time the phone call correctly at the end of a round when you're getting in for that last second push, you will know exactly where the enemies are and they'll be either fiddling around with their phone trying to stop it or they won't even have time for that and you'll be able to hear exactly where they are. This can give you and your team a huge advantage in a gunfight, but the only thing about Dokubi is she does not have a fully automatic primary weapon and for a player with not so much experience you might have some difficulty with that. I will say the DMR is the best one in the game, it's phenomenal, it drops people very quickly. And if you do not switch to the secondaries in time, you will struggle in close range. But with that said, her secondary weapons are amazing for close range. The SMG-12 and the CZ are pretty much just made for close range combat. So as long as you have your timing down, Dokubi can be extremely effective. As for the 13th operator that I think you should go for, it would have to be Vigil. Now, some people might say he's kind of useless. I beg to differ. I think he's very good for both roaming and playing the objective. He also has weapons that are very easy to use, not to mention that he is also a 3 speed operator so you can get through the map very quickly. He doesn't quite have the same impact on a round as some of the other DLC operators might have that are higher on the list, so for that reason, he's going to take the number 13 spot. Moving along to the last few operators, the 14th spot will go to Echo. Now the reason that he is so low on this list is because he does have a very high learning curve. There are even a lot of good siege players out there that haven't quite mastered him. Even myself included, there's still a lot of times where I struggle as to when to get on and off his drone as well as even where to just hide it. So he might be more of a difficult challenge to use in terms of a newer player, but he's still a great operator and very good for bomb. He also has a great set of weapons, the MP5 SD. Can be a little bit of a pea shooter, but it's very accurate and easy to get headshots with as well as the Bearing 9 is an amazing secondary. Now as for the 15th operator that you might want to look into, it would have to be Kavera. A lot of you might not like that Kavera is so low on the list. She can have a pretty big impact on the round when she can get her interrogation off because you pretty much get wall hacks. But the problem is she is a very selfish operator. She doesn't provide as much utility to the defending team as well as if you don't get that interrogation off, you're not really using her for her main purpose. And it's very unlikely that you will get an interrogation every round. I don't think that Kavera is necessarily a bad operator, but just because she is more of a selfish one and not really as much for the team play, that's why I have her so low on the list. 
Now, last but not least, the final operator then would have to be Ying. The reason I put her as the final spot is just because she can be somewhat underwhelming. Her main LMG is very weak, especially when you hit those body shots on the three armor operators. It has a lot of random recoil, so sometimes you feel like you'll be on target shooting near the head and you'll get a random kick to the left or right, making you miss your headshot. And then her gadget, the Candela charges, can be very inconsistent. Sometimes you'll go and flash a room and the enemy will be completely flashed not knowing at all where you are. Or other times you can flash a room and the enemies just kind of look away and as soon as you run in, you just get shut down. I will say she is the most useful on the bomb game mode. She can be very good for getting off those quick plants if you throw some smokes and those candela charges as long as they work properly. But to me, she's just really the best only when you're playing on bomb going for the plant. I think she can be very useful at the right time, but since she can be so inconsistent, she's going to end up last on today's list. But with all of that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. I greatly appreciate the support. Again, this list is just kind of my opinion, so let me know down in the comments if you agree with it or what your list of DLC operators would look like. Lastly, if you are new to the channel, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.